All right, so you just completed keyword research. Now what do you do? Well, you need to turn your keywords list into a blog outline. In today's episode, I wanna show you my own personal way of how I use my keywords research list to build an outline that covers all of those keywords easily and thoroughly. So to get the details, listen on. This is episode number 218. All right, before we dive in, please take one second to like this video and subscribe. So I want to talk about um, keyword research and what do you do after keyword research? So today I spent a good majority of my time um, building out an outline for a blog article and using that outline to begin writing the article. Now, I get a lot of questions from people asking me, okay, how do I how do I write a blog? How do I write a blog after I do keyword research? Because doing keyword research is one thing, but actually writing it is another thing. Now, before you write it, I always recommend you create an outline before you write. The reason being is because you want to make sure that you are touching on every single thing that you need to touch on in terms of a topic's perspective in your article, right? And that needs to be driven all through the keyword research that you do. So I pulled up um, a spreadsheet, all right? Um, This is just an example spreadsheet of some keyword research I did. I used uh, SEMrush and what I did was I picked all of the relevant keywords and I just exported it. All right, so this is an example of an exported uh, an Excel spreadsheet from SEMrush after you do keyword research. Now, you know, you have here, you know, um, 18 different keywords listed out here, right? All of them are related to uh, Virginia Tint Law. And they are all related with one another, right? Because they are all related around like tint laws and things like that. So you want to make sure that when you create a blog article around Virginia Tint Virginia Tint Law um, that you touch on all of these keywords. But how do you do that? How do you touch on all of these keywords without sounding spammy or forcing it uh, within your body content? Because you definitely don't want to force it. So here's what I do. All right. So I first need to sort by volume. Okay. So volume is really important. And after I sort by volume, I go through and I just tag every single keyword by, by I guess, a seed or a parent topic, all right? So, for example, Virginia Tint Law, Legal Tint in Virginia, Virginia Window Tint Law. For example, those three are all related around law, right? So you just tag it with law. And then you just go down the list, and then you see another one. It says, Virginia Window Tint Law Medical Exemption. Now this one is a little bit different because this one talks about a medical exemption. So you, then you just tag it with medical, right? Because that topic is around medical. And then you just go down the list. And you will know that there are some keywords that are similar. So if I go down, there is another keyword that says Virginia Tint Law Medical Waiver. So it's very similar to the first medical one, right? So I just tag it with medical. All right, and then you just go down the list and you just tag them according to the overarching subtopic of that particular keyword. Now these subtopics are are what drives the outline. All right, so I go through and by volume, I know that you want to target all the high search volume keywords in the beginning of your article. All right, and all of these are related to law. So these ones are the general keywords. Now you wanna make sure that you touch on all of these, I would say, within the first uh, couple of paragraphs, right? So make sure that the most broad keywords, the keywords that have the highest search volume get mentioned above the fold, all right? And also, you wanna go down, and for the medical, you wanna talk about Uh, medical. So you will be talking about medical first. That would be kind of like the second one. And then you want to talk about 
uh, tail lights because there is a keyword here that's talking about Virginia tail light tint laws. All right, and then plates. You want to talk about uh, windows. So there are one, two, three. So for the specific window laws, you want to create a, an, a section around the window laws because you want to touch on the Virginia front window tint law, the Virginia windshield tint law, and then the back window tint law, right? So you can create a section targeting those specific keywords. And then same thing for medical. And then also for the fine, I would probably create a section just talking about the fines that people might have to pay if they get pulled over by a cop um, for having window tint on their car. And then also for maybe SUV. So SUV, this one is an interesting one. So I would probably make a section about um, types of cars and uh, tint, tint uh, percentages, right? So when I see Virginia Tint Law SUV, that basically means that people are wondering if SUVs have a specific tint law. So what I would do is maybe talk about a section that talks about the different types of cars and, and, and explain whether or not they have certain tint laws spe specifically tied to those types of vehicles. So maybe SUVs, vans, trucks, passenger sedans, coupes, so on and so forth, right? So look at these keywords and try to in infer what the searcher wants to know about, okay? Now, when you do a Google search, you will look at all of the the competitors that are ranking. And one thing that I always like to look at is the title tags. How are the title tags created? Now, if you do a Google search around Virginia Tint Law, you will know that uh, people do add the year, right? So Virginia Tint Law 2020, 2019, right? And then I have here um, Virginia Window Tint Law 2015 that has a search volume of 50. So what does this tell me? Looking at this keyword, that basically tells me I need to follow this structure for the title tag. Because if I see other competitors using the year, then I think I should be using the year as well, right? Now, if you wanna know how to structure your title tag with the year on it, I would follow the way that this particular keyword is structured. So you should create a title tag that says, Virginia Window Tint Law 2015. All right, that should be the bulk of your title tag. And you could even use that as your H1 tag as well. So really go through this, through your keyword research list and try to bucket them, all right? Try to bucket them into different um, subcategories or categories where you can add them into an outline and you'll know exactly what kind of keywords to hit for all of those different sections within your article, right? And you definitely wanna focus on the categories by search volume. So all of the highest search volume keywords, you definitely wanna mention above the fold and then work your way down and also infer from the keywords, okay? So again, like I said, Virginia Tint Law SUV, I would probably create a, a section around that, but also mention vans, trucks, sedans, coupes, so on and so forth, because maybe there are people wondering what types of cars have specific tint laws. So you want to, to offer those types of answers to those types of people. Okay, so really make sure that you use your list in a very strategic way and not just stuff it in your article willy-nilly make sure you have a structure behind your keywords list. All right, so that's how I create outlines before writing blog articles. Now, I'm actually building out a five-day course for all of you guys. It's gonna be completely free. All you need to do is uh, pre-register. Just go to thecalmmarketer.co forward slash email dash course dash waitlist email course waitlist. So the calmmarketer.co forward slash email dash course dash waitlist. So sign up there, put your email, and you guys will be the first to receive this free five-day course completely free um, for you guys. 
and you guys will learn about how to uh, create an affiliate marketing blog website. All right, so join and, and be on the lookout for that. So again, take a second to like this video and subscribe. And also I uh, welcome you to go to ratethispodcast.com forward slash the calm marketer to leave me a rating and review. I would greatly appreciate that. So with that said, I will speak to you all in the next episode.